Hey guys, so it's that time of the month again where I talk about the things that I love, my favorites. Uh, so today I'm talking about things that I actually loved in the month of October and I wanted to share that with you guys. Uh, mostly in this entire month, all that I've used is makeup and so I only have makeup to show you guys. Uh, there were so many festivals around the corner and I had to get ready and look my best. So these are a few things that I used almost every time that I got ready. So I thought I should share it with you. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. The first thing I would like to talk about is the Anastasia Beverly Hills self-made palette. This palette is by far one of my favorite palettes and the colors are amazing. These are the colors. I love the purple here and the uh, pink champagne right here. It comes with a brush in it, so which is very handy. And uh, I've used this for most of my looks. If you are on my Snapchat, you must have seen me in my makeup so many times this entire month. This is the palette that I was using. The second one is the Hydrology uh, Borgies Restore Conditioning Lip Polish. So uh, if you know me well, you know that I struggle a lot with my lips. I always have to scrub them before I apply a matte lipstick so that it looks really nice and smooth on my lips. And previously I used to use a mixture of Vaseline and sugar to do that to exfoliate my lips. Uh, but from the time I've gotten this, this is like my second tube in this month and it works wonders. So if you guys are looking out for a good lip exfoliator, this is the one. The next thing I would like to talk about is the Makeup Forever HD High Definition Foundation. Well yes, it is on the steeper side. It's really expensive but it's actually worth it. This foundation is amazing. It's exactly my skin color it's medium coverage so if you want full coverage you actually need to build it up but once you've applied this it actually gives you that hd finish i use this when i'm going out for like an award function or if i'm going out for like a party that i'm going to be there for eight hours this one just sticks to your face and it won't budge so yes so the next thing is this isadora eyeshadow palette the palette's name that i have is the 50 matte chocolates so Isadora is a new brand that's just launched in India and it's really reasonable. Initially when I saw the brand, I was very skeptical about the products but when I use them, oh my god, they are so amazing. The palette that I have is like a warm tone palette. If you see these shades, they're warm tones here and they're nice light tones right here at the start. The warm tones can be used to uh, blend your shadows in. This dark brown one can be used. Can you see the pigment? It's so amazing. I just literally took one swatch of it. It's so pigmented and it blends amazingly well. This dark brown one here, I use it in my outer corners like for a smoky eye. But the middle one here is amazing for blending. Whereas the light tones, you can actually use them on your eyelid and then apply another shadow on top. Trust me, if you're looking out for a reasonable, good substitute to a more expensive palettes, they have a bunch of different palettes that you can select from. They have like the shimmer ones, they have the matte ones. You need to try this brand out. It's amazing. The next thing is my Makeup Studio Translucent Powder. You've seen me use this in so many of my videos and I just can't seem to get rid of it. It is amazing to bake your face with. Like, if you don't know what baking means, you can go and watch my previous videos, you get an idea about it. This is like to die for, trust me on this. Last but not the least is the Tarte Clay Pot, Amazon Clay Waterproof Liner that it's called. It comes in a small dabba, if you know how the Maybelline uh, eyeliners are, that's how it is. But this one, it is super duper black. You can't blend it, you can't use it as an eyeshadow, but if you have to use it as an eyeliner, it's amazing. Yes, it is slightly on the more expensive side, but it will last you. I got this last year and I'm yet using it. It is brilliant when it comes up to applying your eyeliner or lining your waterline because it won't budge. It will not budge till you don't use your makeup remover to actually take it off. If you even have water over your eyes, you can enter a swimming pool with this and it will not come out. And that's something that I love about this. With that comes to an end with my October favorites. I hope you guys liked it. Let me know if there are any products that you guys use which are similar to mine. Let me know if you recommend anything for me to use in the next month and I would love to do that. Uh, if you like this video, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and let me know in the comments below if there's any other video you would like me to do. If you haven't subscribed guys, make sure you subscribe because how much of you watch my videos, I need you guys to subscribe as well. And that's it guys, so I will see you in my next video again soon. Bye!